well, perhaps not since Bull Connor, whose aggressive police tactics against blacks in the South sparked civil rights legislation in 1964, has our country seen a showdown like the one going on right now between Maricopa County Sheriff Joe Arpaio and Washington, D.C., as in the feds. You heard it here Friday, right? Immigration and Customs Enforcement Assistant Secretary came on the air and told me that while they do want local sheriffs around the country to help with immigration issues and immigration arrests, he specifically said they don't want Sheriff Joe Arpaio's help. At the end of the day, I uh, feel that the sweeps that he conducts in Maricopa County aren't consistent with our priorities as an agency, and that's uh, namely to identify and remove serious criminal aliens from uh, the streets of uh, Arizona. What's he doing wrong? Uh, his uh, sweeps are overbroad. They don't uh, have a particular um, focus uh, or uh, a priority on criminal offenders, and uh, he does it in a way that isn't marked by cooperation and coordination within the uh, communities that um, he serves. He says our Pio sweeps are wrong. He says they don't have focus. Meanwhile, our Pio's balloon boy slip up may have come during an interview with me just about a week and a half ago, where he may have actually confirmed exactly what the feds were talking about there, where they were explaining what Arpaio's M.O. is and is not, about when they say that his probable cause criteria for arresting people may be questionable. I want you to listen to this. This is how Arpaio described for me how he determines who is an illegal alien. This is important. Let me ask you a question. How do you know when you arrest someone that they're illegal? Well, first of all, Rick, we do it pursuant to our duties. When we come across someone uh, on another crime and we find out that they are illegal, we take action. If those that have not committed a crime, we had the training, we still do, we turn them over to ICE. Well, but, but wait a minute. But, but you just said you detain people who haven't committed a crime. How do you prove that they're not illegal? It has to do with their conduct, uh, what type of clothes they're wearing, their speech. There's, they admit it. They may have phony IDs. A lot of variables involved. You judge people and arrest them based on their speech and the clothes that they're wearing, sir? No, when they're in a vehicle with someone that has committed a crime, we have the right to talk to those people. When they admit they are here illegally, we take action. But you just told me... Let's go back here. You just told me that you arrest a people and turn them over to the feds even if they haven't committed a crime. The federal, no, they did commit a crime. They are here illegally. But how did you know they were here illegally? And then you went on to tell me it's because of the clothes they wore. Well, you look at the federal law. The federal law specifies it's the speech, the clothes, the environment, the oh. erratic behavior. It's right in the law. Well, the feds say it's not in the law. That was an interview that I did 11 days ago with Sheriff Arpaio, who's good enough to join us again, by the way. Uh, Sheriff, always good to see you, sir. Yeah, yeah, you're on the same kick. Go ahead, Rick. All right, looks like John McCain, though, is coming to your defense. I mean, some people might see it that way. He's uh, asking Homeland Security Secretary John uh, Napo Janet Napolitano, who's a fellow Arizonan, as you know, worked with you for many years, why she is specifically, he wants to know why she's stripping you of your federal arrest privileges. What, what do you make of, uh, of, uh, of uh, McCain coming out and uh, saying that or asking for that? Well, I don't know. I, I know the reason why. It's all politics. I can go back uh, when the Obama administration uh, took office. Uh, I'm not gonna, you don't have the time. But let me just say this. You'd say I violate the law. We arrested 66 more over the weekend. 30 happened to be illegal. Uh, human smuggling suspects going into the workplace. We have state laws, Rick. But you specifically told not to do that. But you, well, hold on. You, 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 you know, you're coming right in here and giving us the information that I suppose we were looking for. And that is, uh, you just heard an ICE representatives go on the air and question several things about your sweeps. They don't want you to do them. They question what you use as probable cause. I mean, they've got a lot of problems with the way you do your job, and they don't want you to do it. That's what he told us on national television. Well, well, you know, he doesn't know what he's talking about. I have the right as the sheriff to do crime suppression and lock up those that violate the law. He can't tell me, the federal government, to how I enforce the laws of the state 
of Arizona. And number two, we turned over 19 over the weekend, 19 illegal aliens to ICE. And they weren't charged with anything. They, we came across them pursuant to our but, crime suppression. But, well, you know what? If, if, I mean, I'm just going to make the argument, sir, and you follow me here. The, the way the U.S. Constitution is written is that you can't do unlawful searches and seizures. In other words, yeah, if you go out there today and take in 100 people, uh, there's a good chance that 18 or 19 of them may be thieves who have stolen something or have fake IDs or you'll find something on them. But the other 20 or the other, or pardon me, the other 81 may be innocent and you violated their constitutional rights. That's what the feds are saying that you're doing. Do you buy it and what's your response? Well, well if we violated it, why did they accept them for being illegal over the weekend? with no other charge other than being here illegally. Well, what about the other people that, who, who, you, uh, who, who you interfered in their lives simply while you were looking for someone else? I didn't interfere with anybody. The others that were illegal, we put them in jail because they have committed other crimes. Now, we come back to the same question, though, about how you know that they were illegal if you didn't use uh, a method of probable cause that we are not supposed to use in this country. There are 25 years of laws and standard used by police departments where they're real careful about probable cause so that we don't create a Gestapo environment in this country. We're using the same criteria as the U.S. Border Patrol does every day arresting thousands of people to come into this country and that's under homeland security but the so u.s border but the u.s border patrol is on the border you are nowhere near the border you're well, literally going into people's neighborhoods into schools this weekend you went into a car wash to uh, essentially decide for yourself who was here illegally and not illegally and the feds are saying they don't want you doing that. No, no, the feds are not saying that. They, but, he, well, has, he has said all along that I have the right to do crime suppression operations. I just don't have the authority right now to utilize his credentials under that 287G. But let's we don't let, well, need let, it. Let, let, okay, let's listen to it again. Uh, do me a favor, Dan, if you could, that sound bite we ran just a little while ago, let's listen to it together. And this interview was very lengthy. We just cut out the part where we thought we were trying to get the essence of what he was saying. Uh, Michael, have we got that yet? All right, let's play it. Here it is. At the end of the day, I uh, feel that the sweeps that he conducts in Maricopa County aren't consistent with our priorities as an agency, and that's uh, namely to identify and remove serious criminal aliens from uh, the streets of uh, Arizona. What's he doing wrong? Uh, his uh, sweeps are overbroad. They don't uh, have a particular um, focus uh, or uh, a priority on criminal offenders. And uh, he does it in a way that isn't marked by cooperation and coordination within the uh, communities that um, he serves. I mean, that sounds like they're being very critical and very specific that they don't want you to do this, or at least well, that's what, what I was what, hearing. What were you hearing? What is he, the sheriff of Maricopa County? Well, but Who no, is he to he, tell me? He's the assistant director of well, ICE. He, he doesn't run the sheriff. He doesn't tell me how to do my law enforcement so when you're I not go gonna, out. And, so when you, I go I mean, out. Like Bull Connor in the 1960s, you're going to sit there and tell the feds, uh, you don't care what they say, you're going to do it your way, and you're going to do it when you want to do it. No, they don't tell me how to do my job enforcing state laws. I worked 25 years as a top a Justice Department drug enforcement official. I think I know the federal law and how to operate under the federal uh, blanket. So All he, right, well, he, for, for the record, they're saying you don't, and they're saying you're violating it. One well, last, that, one, well then, then come on after me if he thinks I'm violating any of uh, federal laws. All right, we'll ask him, and we'll, we'll go back to Janet Napolitano to ask her what she... By the way, what's your relationship like with her? With Janet? Yes. I, I've worked with her for 17 years. No, now, since she's become director, what was the last conversation you had with her? Well, you know what? She has her job. She has a report to the White House. I report to 4 million people. There's a big difference. I'm so, elected. So I take it you haven't had a conversation with Janet Napolitano lately? No, I have not. Okay. One final thing. A lot of people are saying, Sheriff, that basically this is a political move by you. That you know that to get elected in Arizona, you got to come off as the guy who's oh, going after those folks. On. And by golly, the nativists can keep you in office for an awful long time. You know, that's that, the that's what they're writing in newspapers well, all understand. over the western states. What is I've, your response I, I, to that? I've been reelected five times. 
I get reelected on 10 city chain gangs, pink underwear, how I enforce the laws. I just took up this uh, problem but two, the three years ago, and I've but, been reelected five times. Well, but the argument is that you do those things because it gets you a lot of publicity and it makes a lot of people think that you're on hey. their side. And, you know, to hell with the feds and to hell with the Constitution. And that's very popular. And it makes the nativists in Arizona come out and vote for you in huge numbers. That's well, why people say you do it. Is that well, true? Well, you called me. I didn't call you. <laughs> the publicity, they call me. I just respond. But I don't the, have anything to hide. I'm not talking about the publicity, sir. I'm talking about the fact that you do these things knowing that it will attract and appeal to a certain segment in our society, and those are the people who continually vote for you. What well, do maybe, you say about that? Maybe the United is it true? States. Maybe There's the nothing United, wrong with it. Maybe the United States will understand that this is an illegal activity, and maybe it's a deterrence. I do this for deterrence. Excellent. Joe Arpaio, Sheriff. As usual, it's always a spirited conversation and a good interview when I have you on, sir. Thanks for being here. I appreciate it. Anytime, Rick.